Okay, on uh, this demonstration video, I will show you how to use the uh, effects generator and uh, effects manager for uh, any given fixture page within CompuLive. Okay, so here we go. Just for example, we're going to use uh, this stage here that I have set up with the 12 elation fixtures, um, just for, you know, demonstrating purposes. And we're going to use the Design Wash 300. So what you want to do is uh, make sure your page is selected. And then you hit Scene button. Make sure it's empty. Link it to Easy Step. And hit OK plus Edit. You'll get your edit window open. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn on all your... Open up your shutters and bring your dimmers up. And you're also going to want to kind of, I don't know, just move your fixture to wherever you can see it. Okay, so once you have uh, everything positioned where you want it, you can, uh, for example, go to any one of these little uh, windows or sections of the faders. Uh, that are above the faders and you right click hit start effects manager with all effects and uh, the effects manager window will open up on you and uh, you can uh, see all the different options there's advanced effects color mixing gradient editor and pan and tilt effects as well uh, there for advanced effects there's to give you a rundown of all the channels that you can use for the effects manager and uh, like for example you can do a sinus sinus 3 triangle square simple pulse and double pulse for any of the given channels so say we'll do a sinus wave with cyan you can see how that will do a sinus wave of the cyan flag uh, within the fixture. You can, do this, you can also do this with the uh, RGB color mixing as well. And uh, you can speed it up, slow it down, adjust how far it does it, offset it. You can even adjust the phasing, which the sinus wave doesn't really seem to do much. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll create a uh, scene with uh, some of these effects. For example, you can do zoom. Do a square, and you can slow it down or, or speed it up. And adjust how many times it'll do that. <coughs> you can even adjust the phasing where. Have them flash all off and on at once. Space it out so it looks like a kind of like a shutter chase. It's kind of different variations of sh type of shutter chases you could do or zoom chases. Uh, we'll do sinus right down to about five or so. See. Just kind of, just cool, cool effects. Just kind of depends on the type of fixture that you have. There's color mixing where you can do a rainbow. You can adjust the speed of it. You can adjust the size of it. 
and you can even adjust for most of these features how many colors it goes through just kind of like do like a rainbow there's Knight Rider you can select two colors and they'll just kind of scroll back and forth do red and orange kind of creates like a kind of like a cool fire effect so and there's also a pan and tilt where you can set a circle, polygon, random points, lines, curve, and for example, we'll do a circle. We'll do eight points. Click OK. What you do is, uh, you can, yeah, messed up. And have it play by hitting the play button. Let's see how they all just gonna do a circle. And then while it's playing, you can actually here pause it. Click on this triangle here. You can adjust anywhere in the fixture. Where you want the circle to happen. So that's a pretty cool thing right there. And then you can also phase them. Kind of get like a cool little. It was kind of like a wave motion going there. Alright, that is pan and tilt effects. So we'll just uh, we'll create a scene using a couple of these: a uh, cyan and magenta sine wave. We'll leave cyan a constant level. A little bit more. And we'll kind of. I don't need to be on anything. Magenta will kind of speed up. Then, so you can basically set your color effects and uh, zoom as well. Then you go over to pan and tilt. Turn the power on. Do another automatic circle. About eight points. Click OK. You can move this around. And once you have everything set, hit play. It's a pretty useful function. Uh, certainly have fun with it. I know I have many times. <laughs> you know? So what you'll do is uh, probably put this around towards the center. Just gonna have it circle around the stage or whatever. Mess with your phasing even more. And you can also, or on the bottom here, interval time, total time, speed it up or slow it down. So, what you want to do is once you're done, once you have everything set the way you want, <coughs> go to effects and generate. That's going to generate all of those effects into easy time. There you have. There you have your scene. Go to your scene button, close and save, and there you go.